You said you went to get the poison from Section C. And that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. What about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just so nervous I didn't even notice I left the footprint. Uh, what the? Hina, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um, well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Well, you see... What the... what the hell? What's going on here? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. What? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. I... did? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. Uh, it had piece sunk of glass. to the bottom of the bottle, and the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for- But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain it? Huh? Me? Fine. I if you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of blue glass Kyuka found in the bottle. I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. You're right. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? What's so strange about that? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... Where was the... It, where was it? The bottle of poison should have been where I broke the record window, according to what Hina said. <clears throat> I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh, um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, hold on. You're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked, but how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. 
Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? The reason she can say that there is because of the evidence. The proof that has that someone brought the protein powder into the room after it was opened was the fact that it was underneath or on top of the glass. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No, no, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. No, that's wrong. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. We also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle knowing exactly what it was precisely she was alone in a locked room all she had was the poison what other possibility is there you're saying she drank it knowing what it was such a ridiculous fiction is exactly what happened then tell us already er, sorry please tell us before we get to that we need to clarify one other thing we need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the protein poison from the chem lab and the one who brought it to the rec room. I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? It's, no, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely was in section C. I have to get Hina to admit that. You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! Do you have any kind of proof Sakura took the poison? This should prove it! Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? It did? 
Ash. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So, what was that powder doing on Over's foot? And it was only on our instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around. And some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... The poison! Because... Because I killed her! No. You didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locker room. The only way to explain it. Here's my answer! The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. <coughs> what? The killer was... Sakura? Wait, so you're saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room and she drank it all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door because you already knew Sakura was dead and because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything and Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. I have to get to them. I have to get to the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense when you were done, you gathered everyone together. Got it, everyone. So, she's dead, huh? Sakura's been killed, I see. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! 
It is. Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. Closing argument on this is going to be interesting. Um. I don't even know how in the world this gets started. Oh, we're missing Bob. Biakia looking at the paper. That's what we're missing. Okay, hold on. Biakia. Nothing, 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 nothing. There one of him shattering the model. Yes. He had the knight, which we knew already. Then he wrote Toko's name. Toko's name, Toko's name, Toko's name, where are you? From there, he ran off. She went into the locker. Or she went out of the locker, I should say. She was already in it. There we go. Then, this is where she turns it upside down. She smashes the one clean in it. Sakura grabs the Chem 9 bottle. Oh, no, wrong way around. No, this Sakura grabs the Chem 9 bottle, drinks it on her own accord. Continues further. We, we all break through the window and get in. From there, this is where Hina picks up the bottle. Grabs Kame 2 and places it. She plays. Oh, wait, no. I already saw that one. Here's exactly what happened. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Byak. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toko. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Then... From inside the locker, she... Next to arrive was Hero. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began... He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toko. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood-soaked Sakura, and she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards, and the queen chess piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with this. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. 
Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened. Knew that she had committed suicide. And that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground. And while nobody was looking, replaced it with an empty protein can. They did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves in an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort... ...was you, Hina. That's the full truth of the case. <laughs> Sakura took her own life, and you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? That's what happened? But, Makoto, how did you... how did you manage to... How were you able to uncover the truth that even I couldn't discern? Huh? Oh, well... I mean, you still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost-benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. <laughs> See? Didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. Oh, yeah. That's right. You seriously forgot? <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. Well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. So... Who will be chosen as the Blacken? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? Well, it's gotta be Sakura, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. Okay, we're done. What did you that's say? That's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one more thing I don't understand. Come on. Hina, why did you try and cover up what happened? If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest what of us. Are you thinking? And yet, you, why did you do that? Don't be mean. Yeah, we almost died what there. Is this? Because that's exactly what I wanted. What? I mean, the reason Sakura died is because all of you pushed her into a corner. You all killed her. So that's why you I couldn't let die. her be the one that died. What? 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 You d -d don't mean. You don't mean you. You're gonna t take us all with you. <laughs> we have to atone for our sins because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? For serious? That's. What is this? You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize how much despair Sakura was carrying with her the moment she died? Look at this. Such brutality has made me desperate. Instead of wanting to waiting to be killed, I'll just do it by my own hand. That's. I found it on the ground in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. A suicide note. Thinking back, I should have been seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack attacked me. Sakura had gotten mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out and after her um... end. Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault after all. But now you're suffering because of me. No I tried to protect me. You tried to protect me because of me. My closest friend got hurt. So Sakura, I... because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. And that is all my responsibility. <laughs> Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought she... Everything was her fault, which is why I wanted, she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. 
So she asked me to, or asked to meet with them. You asked you to meet with those three? You can't. Don't do you see how dangerous that is? Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But talk about what? Um. Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even yeah. you. Please don't think things like that. They're not my enemy. Yeah. They're friends. friends. So Sakura. She clearly believed. She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understood. She was friends to all of us. And yet. Why? And yet. <laughs> you trampled all over her feelings. And then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um... No, it was just a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without thinking, asking a single question, you tried to kill her. <laughs> you don't have any idea how desperate she was seeing you and act like that. That's what her suicide note means. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own Goodbye. hand. That's how far you pushed her. Huh? Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. You came. Wait right here. I'm going to go help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. What's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Huh? A favor? Some protein. I'd like some protein. Could I ask you to... Yeah, I got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. That's when she locked the door. That was my last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she had asked for, but when I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized... I saw someone had taken something from the poison shelf of Sakura, so I ran back to the rec room as fast as I can, but by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura, uh, please. please let me in. Open the door. Why? Why? Why does she have to die? She had a weakness, just like any other person. But she got cut. She bled. As if someone hurt her, she felt it. That weakness, that's normal, and yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her, I, and I suffered for it. And they added the weight she had to carry, and I didn't even realize it. Hina. We killed her, all of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. Why? People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. And that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted her to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out in the end, and I wasn't able to do anything for her. I could never face her after this. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but hey. it's just taking so long, long, long. I'm about to fall asleep over here. <laughs> I mean, do you really have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? What did you say? Hmm. Everything she you just said is nothing but an interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant. What are you saying? Of course I know what she was thinking, because her and me... In other words... Well, what I'm uh, really trying to say yes, is... Yes, indeed! Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it really was like this? What the heck? What? What is that? Of course! Isn't it obvious? Yep! A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. What? But Hina already... Oh, I wrote that one! It was all me, baby! It's true! It is the one... This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What then? You lied to me. Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a bit. Well, now, well, I can't now, help well, but well, use if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. <laughs> it didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little. I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. I did. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even I, it, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the problem? It's all part of the production process. Okay, and scene yeah. cut. So that's what you did. What did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I'll read it using my mel melodic angel angelic harmony narrator voice. Hey, hey! But you know, 
Haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? But hold on. And isn't it just so unfortunate? It's just so final, you know. <laughs> you can never hear the rest of the story. The truth is lost in darkness, and that gives me the willies. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a buzzkill. All right, here I go. Hmm. Ahem. To my good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that a mastermind came to see me. The mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see this as an important dojo, but my family has watched it for over 300 Couldn't years. let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made a mistake of giving in to the mastermind. And what the mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried about that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan had changed. The Mastermind told me to hold off and wait until another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight in such despair, trying to s desperately stay alive, I saw that my weakness in my own heart, the mistake of s succumbing to the Mastermind, and more I than cannot anything... I betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I became came to feel. So that's by Sakura. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Maybe oxymoronic, or just moronic. Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with me just accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me, which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that it would eventually escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get the situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I am told, and commit a murder. I've decided the, the one, one I'm, I'm going to kill is myself. The Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. And my dojo will be safe. And above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I am willing to give if up my life. If it save you then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel con cornered, didn't die hating no us. No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting and protect us. Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong too strong, and that's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However, it was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell any of you is because I knew you would try and stop me. I'm really truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plans, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. The path that I have chosen is the only way I have left distinct to distinguish myself, and you can use this note to bring the glass trial to a quick end. I am so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakia, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone 
about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words, and hopefully they'll see. I never saw see. you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else, no matter what. Just survive. But... This is... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. I thought we were close and still... What are you gonna do? In the end, all of her meddling was like, totally pointless. Aww. She died so you guys wouldn't try and kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. <sighs> Thanks to you, her death has no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly got into the bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? And nobody here blames anyone. First of all, you are in the wrong for tricking Hina with the fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Because she made us remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? This is all because the master mi misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina Ina. Uh, Whether or not the, there was a spy really mattered. Because the one we needed to destroy is you and nobody else. What, what, what the want? heck? That's not how it's supposed to go. Strange. But anyway, are you sure about that? The killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey. Your enemy is each other. <laughs> He's absolutely right about that. Ah, oh, lovely Biakia, you understand, don't you? <laughs> this is all life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There is no doubt in those rules of the game, <laughs> which is why I'm bowing out of the game. Huh? Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny a reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for this game. Don't make me There's myself. no point in participating in a game which has already lost its sense of excitement, which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What, what is going on here? Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to, and that is a heap of harsh... the heap of the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Biakia, does this mean... Don't misunderstand. I haven't moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if it's re what you're thinking. Whenever Master, whenever Master goes, I go, and if the Mastermind turns out to be the guy, maybe I will catch on fire. Everyone. Hey. Well, no. now you can say Sakura's death has no, had no meaning. Huh, how boring. But nothing good could come of this. I'm still going to be the one having a fun time. A fun time. Anyway, let's forget about a good-for-nothing backstabber and get back on track. It's the moment you that you've been waiting for. Punishment time! What, what, what? Wait, but Sakura technically is the killer, right? And she's dead. You're not gonna... What? Is it me? Wrong. Heavens no. Just because the Blackened didn't, is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whoever old student I want. <laughs> didn't I tell you the very particular about the bears times one, the bear times one rule? Listen up! But I spent so much time preparing my special punishment. It's a shame to let it go to waste. So for my special, or for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. A special guest. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh. <gasps> He found Alter Ego. Wait, how did he do that? Excavator Destroyer. How did he find Alter Ego? You, you. Oh, you suck, no. man. You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. Phew. 
That totally took it out of me. Maybe I'll grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say post-workout grub chicken's where it's at. And that's about the grilled goodness. <laughs> Friend, fried, boiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents. Grilled is where it's at. <laughs> I realize how dangerous this could be, but still I have to do it. But I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but whatever I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I am an inhuman AI, but that's not true. So it's okay. For the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and my soul, and disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned into a fury, black and money and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing, shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with the laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop, he was a friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is that what you call it? A Annie Mizium? Where the soul dwells within all things, even like laptops. Mm. Well, you can call it whatever you want, mm. but bottom line is, he, it got in my way. It was trying to get, to, or trying to find things that got all sneaky, sneaky. Just as I thought. So you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally, no, no, no. I knew from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop, and I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all gonna play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew, and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge. Yep. Well, I mean, the data in the laptop, it was... I guess you could call it a gift for me to you. Yeah. Or maybe like a reward and honor for you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um... And of course I didn't care if you got access to that, because sneaking into the network was just too per... But sneaking in the network was just too personal, so I had to get a little, you know, reformatting. I want to work as hard as I can to get everyone all out of here. He programmed it. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to take risk at his own life, and for that he was killed. <laughs> well, yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a bit, billion times better. Experiencing a meaningless death was so shooting or soothing. It makes me remember all every low it can get lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who died so far, the deaths of each and every one of them are friends, and they make us grow stronger. I swear to God, every day. And you will pay for this. Um, Holy moly, you're like super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay, every time this, every time to bring these things as close. Oh, but before I can do that, uh -huh. I need the rest of the, read the postscript. What? The postscript. Yep. Yeah, there's still a little bit more left of Sakura's notes. Huh? huh? <laughs> uh, do I have your attention? Okay, then, here we go. Prepare your ears for a dulcet tones of yours truly. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like to tell the others. Hopefully it'll act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of the school. What a clue. Hina. I've spoken to the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, so I've learned one thing, which is the mastermind has done something to us. I think they've done what they've done is yeah! Oopsie Daisy, that was a close one. Another word we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. Okay, don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? You could just stop the most important bit. It makes the brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? So what's the whole point, stupid? It's to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. Fine, but at least Sakura's note. Like I'd ever get let any of your greaseballs have it. But... <laughs> Sucks for you, loser! Wait, what is this? What, what is it now? Wah, wah? There's one last line on the notes. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not gonna let you lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard, no matter what it takes. Hmm? Huh? Wow, what a stubborn loser! Uh, so she won't lay down and die. She'll fight you? Hmm. Well, whatever. Who cares? The dead muscle head is, has to say. Well? Okay, I'm out of here. You guys should try and get some rest, you know. And maybe take some time to reconsider how your approach to this school life is yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free and from the regrets from the outside world? <laughs> ah, think about that. Think long and hard. Those were his parting words before disappearing. But what was that all about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us. Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? And after Celeste's trial was over... You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Ooh. What? Answer me. Did you do something to my body? 
The mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they? What are they saying? The mastermind did. Does the mastermind? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? As if we're trying to leave the school, a sensor goes off and the bomb explodes. I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, but I totally think it's unheard of. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo. So the class trial is over and Monokum was gone. So now what do we do? Yes. What else is there other than heading back up? Uh, oh. oh, yeah. Well, let's get out of here. But, but, I'm, um... Hina must feel responsible. Hm. Huh. Dial it back the ego a bit, girl. Kind of a mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. I would never have lost that kind of a challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hmm. How many times do you have to plan to apologize? How are you about to make this the last one? I haven't reached a point to where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Okay, I see what you mean. Then, I'll try. Huh? huh? That totally wasn't normal, right? She just... Did she just capture his flag? No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? This is absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever get, go for a sleazeball like him? What is sleazeball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleazeball because you are. Apparently, you still have a death wish. Uh, uh, more of a biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous, and I want to. to uh, I want to abuse, give, and take me. I guess this is not easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so Sakura's cast trial came to the end and we returned to the world of Hope Peak Academy. But the story wasn't close to over. Time kept marching on, and we all went back to our rooms, and before long, the night snuck up on us. Night time. Hmm. <coughs> Stop chewing the doors to the... Okay? Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep, but the night wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. What? Wake up. Wake up. Huh? The voice dragged me into deep slumber to a hazy self, half conscious. My eyelids were l like lead. Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? In a flash, I was wide awake. What are you doing here? It's true. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. But my Ooh. door. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Hey. Annie, always. You don't have to overreact like that every time you're surprised. But what time is it? Correct. Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m. Why is Kyoko waking me up at this hour? We'll find out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.